All right, welcome back. Thank you. With us right now, we have a, a group that won the best, best pop jazz vocals, which they can't understand. Maybe they can understand that in the best uh, rhythm and blues album. The album is In Praise of Older Women and Other Crimes, and this is a fabulous group, Kid Creole and the Coconuts. I've been a fan of them for a long time, August Darnell. You are, in fact, How are you? Kid I'm, I'm Creole. Yes, self-ordained king this year. Yeah, that's right. And this is Cody Mundy. It's good to have you with us. It's indeed a pleasure to be here I once again. I didn't see again. any backflips or anything. <laughs> oh, I You're was half up and half down, My right? My knees hurt today. <laughs> now, let's have, I want to get the coconuts to stand up. Oh, we, we haven't had a... It's like the dating game. Coconut number one. Hi, what's your name? Adriana. Good to see you. And you've been with the group since the very beginning. The beginning, yes, seven years. I remember seeing years. you down. Joe Papp put you on yes, some years ago. Yes. Right? This is an act not to miss. You're a new coconut. Yes, I'm Janique. From Sweden. That's right. You oh. remember. Wow. How could, I, <laughs> how could I forget, right? And you are uh, Cheryl. Cheryl, how long have you been coconut? I've been uh, six and a half years. Okay, well, listen, congratulations. Can uh, She's congratulations a hard Congratulations on your award. <laughs> have a seat. Let me see what I can dig up in the audience. And in case at home you want to talk, 570-1199, give us a call, okay? All right, first up, first person I see, first smiling face with a question. And this with questions can also can include J Master J and Cult Jam seated on the first oh, row. Okay, but as it's well. from Go ahead. Run DMC. Um, do you plan to make more movies in the future like Crush Groove? Not like Crush Groove, but we're making a movie called Tougher Than Leather. Um, we start filming in was July. Probably um, September. <laughs> it's, <not> <laughs> <laughs> It's one of those months, right? Yeah. July or September. It's not going to be like Crush Group. It's going to be something like 48 hours of Clint Eastwood or Rambo or something. Somebody's going to get shot in the face. Oh. Is it going to be shot in the city? No, it's going to be shot in the face. Excuse me? All right. Let's see what else we got. Another question? No? OK. Stand up and jump right into that mic. It's on. Go ahead. What's your name? Steve. This is from Run, Run DMC. Uh, how long does it take you to come up with one rap? And uh, do all three of you get together to make the one rap? Yeah. We do it the hotel room on the road. It takes about <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> this is creativity, right? 10 minutes? It's kind of right. quick. Next up here, is this a Princeton Tiger? No, I, I go to Wagner College. So. I understand. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Pat. Pat O'Connor. Your question is uh, for? Lisa Lisa. Yeah. I'd like to know how she feels when they play her music in the clubs and everyone goes wild. Because when they play, like, uh, Can You Feel the Beat, the whole, uh, dance floor goes absolutely crazy. Yeah, what's it feel like? Feels good to me, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, feel, it would feel terrible if they didn't play them at all. I mean, it feels really good, actually, to see everyone get up and have a good time with a song that you made. Okay. Let me just, I want to introduce Cult Jam here. You are? Mike. Mike and? Spanador. Spanador, let's have a nice thank you for them for coming. <laughs> hey, Master Jay, since you're, you're behind these guys, uh, Give me an insight. When is the movie really going to be made? Well, yeah. we start in the pre-production in July. It is and July. And we'll start filming in September. Yeah. What was it like? Friday. I was talking. I was talking to Willie Deville about their their trip. Uh, their trip to Europe. You guys played England and Germany. How'd you do over there? It was real great. You know, we sold out everywhere we played, and you know, yeah. it was just a great response. I didn't understand it. Let, let me ask Kid Creole a question. Maybe uh, overheard. I don't know. I was talking to Willie Deville, who is an act similar to yourself in terms of. Very, very big and popular overseas in Europe. Not as much popularity, but growing popularity here in the States. How did it, why did it grow that way? Why did it happen that way with the Kid Creole and the Coconuts? Well, there are many reasons why it happened, but I think we can narrow it down to a couple. The, uh, the music itself is very eclectic, Kid Creole and the Coconuts. It borrows from so many different strains. The Europeans are into that. They're into a mixture, a potpourri right. of sounds. Whereas the Americans like to play it safer, a little safer. You know, they want to make sure there's uh, food on the table when they come home. And so therefore, they, they, they don't want to take the risk. They don't want to take the chances. But There's the also, I think, one similarity between you two. You both are great live performers. If you ever get a chance to see Willie DeVille hit it on the stage or Kid Creole and the Coconuts, they are dynamite. Now, we got questions back here, right? OK. Oh, I get my exercise during the course of it. They stand up. What's your name? Ignacio. Good I name. want to know about Lisa. Why inspire her to sing? Yeah, instead of saying tap dancing. <laughs> Why singing, Lisa? Why? What inspired me to sing? My mother. She pushed me to sing. 
She used to always sing in the kitchen while she was cooking, so I figured I'd try it too. Okay, that's Glad good. Remember, if you're home, 5701199. If you want to call in, you got a question? Yeah. Hi, Four. How you doing? I'm uh, okay, how are it's you? It's for Run DMC. How did you hook up with Aerosmith for the new record? We called them on the phone. How'd you get their number? <laughs> <laughs> See, it's so simple. Yeah. Stand up. I want to know how old are Run DMC and how did they get started? How old are you exactly and how did you get started? I'm 21. I'm 21. 42. <laughs> Got it. Next question. All the way on the end. Bark it out here. Yeah. Um, I want to talk to Lisa. Lisa, she's going to make any concert tours, you know, near the near future now? Oh, definitely. We just jumped off a uh, two and a half month tour that we were on, and now what we're doing is in New York uh, doing our next album. We're definitely going to have another tour for the summer, and we will hit New York. Okay. I have a question for Kid Creole. How do you pick your coconuts? <laughs> what are the qualifications <laughs> oh, to be a coconut? That's uh, Adriana's job. All right, Adriana. I'll have some fun. i get you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Other questions back here? Yeah. One of those people with your hands up, just go over to that mic, and I'll get to you next. Yes. Run DMC, you know, y'all are role models for a lot of up-and-coming rappers. Uh, who was your role model? You I like Eddie any. Murphy. <laughs> oh, man. And Chris Christopherson, probably. Those, those two. Yeah, at the mic. Uh, Creo, uh, you used to go to the Ritz all the time. What's happening? Are you going back anytime soon? Are you going to be here in the city? Funny you should say that. Uh, we're playing the Ritz April 11th and 12th of this year. Thank you. Don't miss that show. Wow, well, so still fishing for questions. If you're at home, it's 5701199. Donna, let me know if we get anybody on the line. Somebody else. Oh, the most convenient place of the audience. Hi, take this mic and ask the question. Stand up. Go ahead. Um, when will your next album be coming out? Well, we have a single coming April 23rd. The album comes May 15th. Okay, thanks. Let's just uh, review what the albums are. With Kid Creole and the Coconuts, it is in praise of older women and other crimes. With Mink DeVille, it is... Sport and Life. Sport and Life. Run DMC, your latest album is... Raising Hell. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa. Uh, our la latest single is Can You Feel the Beat on the album Lisa, Lisa, and Call Time with Full Force. Okay, good. Somebody's on the line with a question. If you're listening, you're on. Bill Boggs with you on Midday. Hello. Yeah, hi. I just want to say um, hello to Tim and Alex, and I want to ask a question to run DMC. Okay. Um, now that you have stardom and wealth, I guess, I mean, I guess you're, you know, stars, uh, how exactly would you say that your regular lives in general have changed? They haven't changed a bit. He's <laughs> still chill. Still taking the subway, chill. guys? <laughs> nah. Nah, we driving, but we what still... Are you, what are you driving, fellas? I got a Cadillac myself. <laughs> uh, what, what kind of car are you driving? I have a um, Riviera. Riviera. Okay. Next hey. question. Anyone else on the line? All right. Can I Thank Hi. you very much. Yes? Questions? Uh, you're totally stumped. Oh, here's good. You're, oh, we're back with you? All right. <laughs> um, would you like to have your own TV show, like a half hour spot someday? Nah. No. No. We want to make motion pictures. I hear you. Movies. 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 All right. All right. I want to ask one general question of the group, because really this show is inspired today by the New York Music Awards for, for the first time last Saturday. What is the atmosphere that makes being a, an artist, a musical artist in New York, beneficial for you, rather than, say, working in Chicago, Detroit, San Francisco, Los Angeles? What do you like about it? I think it's competitive, really. Um, New York C City is a very hard place to, to, to please. Every, everything is out here in New York. All the action's out here, and everyone's trying to get into the business. Right. So um, now that it's so competitive, it makes you work harder, and it gets you places. Want to add anything, Willie? Yeah. Um, that might be so for these ladies. Is that true for you? Yeah. <laughs> but for myself and these guys and these guys, if we didn't have music, I wonder what we would be doing. <laughs> well, you might be chasing no, these sorry. ladies. <laughs> thank you, Willie. And thank you very much. This is fun. I'm glad we could have you on Midday. Buy the album.